is Kim from My Feather Nest, and welcome to my channel. Um, so I'm sitting in my car right now filming an intro video for what you guys are getting ready to see. Um, and I was hoping that I could do this intro video at home, but I'm waiting on my husband, so I figured it's now or never. Anyway, um, over the weekend, we had went to my mom and dad's house. We were prom dress shopping for my um, oldest daughter, and we had already been a, like a week before that. And she tried on like 15 dresses and never really found anything. Finally did. And it was this gorgeous ball gown type of dress. But my gosh, it was ridiculously expensive. So when in the world did prom dresses become as expensive as they are? I'm talking like five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a prom dress. Okay, so I graduated in 1996. And my junior year prom, I think my dress was like 60 bucks from Deb. Y'all remember the store Deb? I don't even know if they still exist anymore. But I looked cute in my $60 prom dress. And then my senior year, I borrowed a dress. So it was free. But anyway, these girls now think that it's like they on my sweet 16 quinceanera something or another that they got to spend all this money. It's crazy. But anyway, and maybe you guys spend that much money on your kids prom dresses. More power to you. But we didn't. So anyway, we went shopping and we found a beautiful dress, um, and it was a great price. It was way within our budget, totally. And um, anyway, oh, there's my husband as I'm recording. I do not want to stop this. But anyway, you're getting ready to see a tour of my mom's formal living room and her formal dining room. So I just want I had to tell my husband to hold on a second. Anyway, so I just wanted to do this quick video to just let you know that that is what you're getting ready to see. And I hope you enjoy it. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you don't mind all my bantering and my chit-chatting. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys the next time around. Thanks. Bye. So you walk into a small foyer and then you see this. And so I'll give you a big pan around here. It's not a big, huge room. Um, especially the dining part area, but... I think it's plenty big, especially for the amount of times that this room actually gets used. So she has my mom and my, or I'm sorry, my dad and my husband actually laid this marble flooring. And I don't know if you can really see it, but it's kind of got like a blush pink through it. It's really pretty. And then she has this shaggy white rug. And she actually has one underneath of the dining room table as well. Same things, just different sizes. Okay, so let's start out. This is what she has right here. Okay, let me just pan around. Okay, so I will tell you a little bit about this couch. Um, when she was looking for some furniture, this, um, let's see, this couch came from like an antique consignment store. And it was just an old couch, but it was in pristine condition. Like, it didn't even look like it had probably even been sat in. I don't know what year it was from. But you guys know that furniture nowadays is not made nearly as well as furniture back in the day. And so it had the material that was on it was from that time period. It was in pristine condition, but obviously it's nothing that she wanted. So she decided, though, to go ahead and get the couch, and she just had it reupholstered. There's a gentleman here, and... Um, he is this older gentleman and he does an excellent job. I mean, he's very well known around here. So she chose, I'm going to get closer so you can actually see the colors. See how it's got the hot pink and the black and the white and the, like the sage green. It's just so pretty. And then she has the coordinating Parisian, like tree chic, um, fabric. It's got the, the ladies shopping and all the different sites from, um, Paris anyway, so, to go along with that, let me pan over here. These chairs are brand new. They're just kind of done in that Victorian old world kind of style. And she, when she bought these, they obviously, they had different fabric on and reupholster her chairs to match her couch. And so, those look super duper cute. And what's really neat about this table, this is another antique. And if I'm not mistaken, I think she said it was called a chocolatier or something um, I think that's what she said anyway back in the day I guess they would put their um you know their 
sweets, their hors d'oeuvres, their chocolates and stuff like that in here when they had company. And then this wooden tray that sits on top actually lifts up. And that's how they would serve their guests. So she um, just has this really cool lamp. This like Victorian little angel kind of whatever it is on there. That's a picture of me. My wedding picture. I'm an only child, guys, by the way. There's a new new fact for you. Anyway, over here on the secretary, this is a reproduction piece, but it's really pretty. Um, sorry about that glare. Let me see if I can flip over here. Anyway, oh gosh, I'm not going to be able to get it. Anyway, she has some angels in there, a collection of angels that she has in a little teapot. And then down over here, she picks up some of those, you know, you see all these really neat stationary sets, like at TJ Maxx and stuff, the really pretty ones. So I thought that was clever. Okay, so let me go slowly. Like I said, she has the two chairs. Let's see, on her coffee table. And this coffee table is neat because both sides actually can flip down if she needs some more space. And let's go over here. This little um, canvasy type of tote she keeps books and magazines in so she can have them easy access for reading. And she has some canvas prints right there. Okay, neat story. This little collection of Fenton glass. This piece right here she got when my mom and dad, um, when they had first gotten married. So that piece um, is, I'm, I'm what, like 40 years old, 39 years old, something like that. I'm not sure if she had this piece or not, but I know she recently purchased this piece. I guess she found it online to match as a matching set, but I just love it. It's got that really pretty scalloped ribbon style edge. Very beautiful. And I love these um, coffee tables and end tables. They're really, really nice, like a cherry wood style, and they're both a little bit different. See that one, how it's a little different? This is her dining room area, and she has, like I said, another rug, which just matches this one in here. And it's not a very big room, but it's pretty, and it goes all nicely together. She's a really neat chandelier. And inside of her hutch, she just has some plates on display, and she has a couple, like, antique soup terrines. So there's that. And I love that picture right there. So, over there. And in the corner, she just has, she's really neat. These windows are, like, you know, super big long windows okay so that is it I'm gonna step back out here so you can get a good paint. oh fun, something funny so she always has to have something quirky in each room and so this is the quirky for this room mr. penguin the server there he is, folks. There he is. I always have to make fun of her for this guy. But she loves him. She always has to, like I said, have something a little quirky, and there's her quirky. But anyway, it's super pretty in here. Very nice and feminine. Very clean. But there you go, and that is the end. So if you enjoyed seeing a different style of house decor, then like this video, make sure you share it with your friends, tell your friends about My Feather Nest, and tell them to come on over and hang out for a little bit. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys the next time around. All right, bye.